Instagram is one of the most popular apps in the world with now 3 billion monthly active users. Whether you're new to Instagram or haven't used it in a while, I'm gonna show you a complete guide on how to use it and how to level up your skills so you're getting the most out of the app. Now, if you wanted to get Instagram on your iPhone or Android, you're gonna to need to first download the app. So go to the App Store if you're on an iPhone or go to the Google Play Store if you're on Android. And from here, we're just gonna search for Instagram and tap on Instagram. Now you'll be able to see here is Instagram. If I tap on it, it's 4.7 stars, 28 million reviews. One of the most popular in the world. I can just tap on that little cloud to download it. Keep in mind, if you've never downloaded it, it might say get or download. Now, keep in mind, Instagram is meant for your iPhone or Android. There is a web-based version that you can use on a computer, but a lot of the functionality is natively built in only to the app itself. So if you wanted to get all of the full functionality of the app, you need to go through and download it. Now, open up the Instagram app on your iPhone or Android, and the first thing that you will see is a login page you'll be able to see it automatically recognizes that I have an account, but let me, for instance, go out and log back out and show you what it'll look like. So I'm gonna log out. And you'll be able to see once I log out, you can basically just sign up for a new account by hitting create a new account. And you'll have to enter in either your mobile number, your phone number, or you can choose to sign up with your email instead. Go through the process of entering in your phone number or email, setting a password, choosing your birthday, etc., and then you'll create a profile. So after you've done that, let me just go back into my account here. I'm going to show you what everything looks like, all the functionality and features of Instagram. So let me go back in here. This is the main homepage. You'll see at the bottom left is home. And you can see as I scroll through, it'll show me videos, it'll show me some ads, it'll show me photos, etc. At the very top are accounts that I currently follow, and these are what's called Instagram stories. These disappear or expire after 24 hours. So I can tap on Aaron here, my brother, and see this story from him. But keep in mind, again, as you go through these, these won't live, live on here or last on here forever they'll essentially expire after 24 hours. Now, you'll also be able to see at the very top right is the heart icon. These are your notifications, people that are following you or commented on your photos or videos, etc. Instagram is owned by Meta, the same owner as Facebook. So practically everything you do on Instagram, you can also do on Facebook. If you wanted to share a story on Instagram, you can bring that over to Facebook. The same with reels, statuses, all of that stuff. Now let's go back out of here and I'm gonna show you what all of these buttons do at the bottom. They recently redesigned these. And first we're gonna tap on this play icon here. You can see it defaults to Reels here. So Reels are the vertical videos that are built into your iPhone. You can tap on Friends here to see Reels, these vertical videos that your friends have liked. This is similar to the YouTube Shorts or TikTok videos where you can just keep swiping through and watching these. At the bottom center here is a little airplane icon and these are all of your messages. So this is messages that other people sent you or that you sent other people. If you want to send a new message, you can tap on that pencil and paper at the top left. And then for instance, tap on somebody's name here. And let's say I want to send a message to Haley. Oh, tap down here and I can send a message to Haley or anyone else. Now that's one section where you can send and receive messages in addition to photos and videos. Now let's tap on the explore page or search page at the bottom right. This will show you random photos and videos that Instagram thinks you might like. So you can keep scrolling through. It will show you random ones. And of course, if you tap into any of these, you'll then be able to swipe down and continue to consume content, photos, and videos. At the very top, if you wanted to tap on that and search for something specifically, let's say you wanted to see content related to Hawaii. 
You could search for that and then see content related to Hawaii, photos and videos. Again, Instagram primarily does photos and videos. If you don't love the search or explore page in terms of the content it's recommending, a new feature is you can go into the settings of Instagram and reset that so that it resets all of the content that it shows you. Now let's tap on the person at the bottom, right? This is your profile. So I'll walk you through setting up your profile and then we'll walk through creating some posts as well. At the top left, you'll be able to see there is your profile picture, your name, how many posts you have, the followers and following. At the very top here is your username. So keep in mind your username needs to be unique, whereas your name can be a duplicate of other people, but your username has to be unique across all of the billions of users on Instagram. Now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all of the photos and videos that you posted here. I can go over to Reels and just see the Reels that I've posted and then go over to Tagged Photos to see any tagged photos that I've been tagged in. Now, you'll be able to see all of that information and if you wanted to edit your profile, you can tap Edit Profile. You can change your name, your username, your bio, add some links. You can change your gender. You can even switch to a professional account to get advanced analytics and a bunch more features on your account. After you've done that, let's tap on those three lines at the top right here. This will get you into your settings. A couple key things that I would recommend looking at. One is account privacy here. If you wanted to set your account to public, you can turn this off. This means anybody on Instagram will be able to see all the photos and videos that you have posted. However, keep in mind, if you turn this on, it will prevent anybody from seeing that content unless you approve them as a follower. So they'll be private by default. You can choose to turn that on or off depending on your preference. And then I would also recommend scrolling down and tapping on messages and story replies. From here, you can tap on message requests and choose whether people can send you message requests if they don't follow you or you don't follow them. You can also go back on here and choose show read receipts and activity status to determine whether you want to allow other people to be able to see when you read their messages or for activity status to see when you are online on Instagram. If you want to keep that information hidden, make sure to just toggle both of those off. Now, again, as I said, Instagram is a photo and video app. So let's say you wanted to create a photo or a video to post. You can tap on the plus at the top left. And now from here, you can choose Reels, which is the vertical format video. You can choose a post, which can be a photo that goes in your normal grid. And again, story is the one that gets basically deleted after 24 hours. If you share a story on Instagram, it by default disappears after 24 hours, but it's just archived in your app and you can always bring it back by resharing the story or adding it as a highlight on your profile. Let's say I wanted to do a reel. I'm going to tap on that. And on here, I'm going to allow access to my camera and everything. And let's say I wanted to upload a reel of a video that I'm going to take directly on here. So let's say I'm going to take a video. So I'm going to press and hold on the camera and it will start to take that video just of the desk right under my phone here. After I've taken that video, you'll be able to see at the left here is a music icon. I can tap on that and I can change or add music to this. So I can tap on it to listen to it. And if I'm good to go, I can tap the little arrow and it will add that song directly to this video, the photo, the video, whatever it may be. Now, if you want to see what all of these do, you can tap on the drop down arrow and you can see audio, which is what we just did effects, green screen, touch up, layout, dual, gesture, align. The most important one is effects from here. You can tap on that and go to a variety of different other effects and it will kind of add filters onto your Instagram photos or videos and you'll be able to see some require your face to be in them to work and some just add sort of a different filter or look and feel to that video. Now, when you're ready, you can hit the next button at the bottom right. And then again, you can choose to edit this. You can type on the smiley face at the bottom left. 
And you can add or tag a location. You can tag other people or mention them if you wanted to, add photos and GIFs, etc. Let's hit the next button. And here you can see my new reel, the video that I'm gonna post. And from here, I can add a caption on here. Let's just add a caption that says, hi. You can tag people, tag a location. You can change the audience from everybody to just specific people if you wanted to as well. And then from here, you can tap on more options. You can choose to turn on whether you want other people to be able to comment on it, share it, see the like counts, all of those things, download your reels, all of that. You can choose whether to turn those on or off. Now let's go back out of here and when you're ready to go, just hit next and then hit share. And then let's hit not now. You'll be able to see that reel that you just posted by tapping on your profile. And then let's tap on reels here. And there is the reel that I just posted. Now on here, I can choose the three dots and I'm gonna delete this real quick because I don't necessarily wanna share that. But you can always go back to any of these other ones. The last thing I will show you is any of these videos or photos, you can double tap on it and it will like it. You can see the heart icon at the bottom left. You can tap on the comment icon to see all of the comments. In addition to that, of course, you can tap on reply to reply to any of these comments. You can reshare them, essentially sharing them with all of your followers, and you can tap on that airplane icon to send it as a message to anyone else as well. Hopefully by going through all of these, you have a good idea of how to use Instagram, how to get the fullest amount of Instagram, even if you haven't used it or you haven't used it recently.